brain after you've had some sort of a cardiovascular event. Timing is important, but so is temperature. In today's HealthCast, we're going to take a look at a technique that can help preserve brain function after the crisis has passed. Sharice Ann Martin was just 28 years old when she was diagnosed with high blood pressure. It's a condition that runs in her family. I thought it was something I could cure, like something that will go away, but apparently not. Though she did what she could to control it, last August, Sharice Ann went into cardiac arrest and was rushed to the hospital clinging to life. The day I got in there, um, the doctor told my husband, you need to make some alternate plans because this doesn't look good at all. Specialists at Broward Health Medical Center initiated what they call code ice, targeted temperature management to cool the body. The, the cooling process decreases the uh, chemical uh, reaction that starts to go on once somebody has a cardiopulmonary arrest and has lack of oxygen to the brain because of the fact that they did not have circulation and they received CPR to keep them going. Targeted temperature management can be done both externally with a cooling blanket and internally with a catheter placed in one of the major vessels of the body. The cooling blanket actually cools the external temperature quicker, but we felt that the cooling the patient from internally, that you would have a better monitored or a uh, better achievement of what the inside pressure, uh, the inside temperature would be. Sharice Ann went through several procedures during a month-long stay in the hospital and is now making a slow but steady recovery. It's just a change of life, you know? I mean, I have a scar to show it now, but yeah, the scars are, are what makes us, you know? It's the battle of life. It is indeed, and studies have shown this targeted temperature management is just a really vital component in improving patient survival and neurological outcomes.